Hey everyone, this is Coach Daniel with Silver Knights, and today I want to show you a game that will help demonstrate some of the opening principles that we learned about. And this is a very old game. It was played in the 1600s. 1600s, 500 years ago. Uh, 400 years ago. Let's double check my math there. 400 years ago. And the white player in the game was named uh, Greco. And if you're curious, he looks something like this, I guess. I don't know. This was the picture I found. Of him. Maybe he didn't look exactly like that. In any case, uh, this is the game he played against NN. And NN stands for no name. And one of the things about Greco is that all of his games were against NN. So anyways, this is the game that Greco plays against NN. You might be able to guess from the fact that one of them has a name and one of them is called No Name. The guy with a name is probably going to win the game. And he was one of the first people who wrote books about you. So, he plays e4, which controls the center, lets out the bishop and the queen. Black plays e5. Good moves. <clears throat> Very popular. First moves for players all the way from 400, not 500 years ago, until today. He plays knight f3, which develops his knight. That's the word for bringing a piece from the back row towards the center. And attacks two center squares. Black plays knight c6, which does the same. Black also defends the pawn that Greco attacked. Bishop c4, develops a bishop, controls the center, a little closer to castling. Bishop c5, does the same things for black. Now, Greco plays a very good move in this position which is probably the most popular move still in this position, which is he plays c3. Now, what's the idea of c3? Well, what he'd really like to do is play d4, which would control the center and let out his bishop. But if he does it now, he has one, two defenders, and black has one, two, three attacks. And what that three against two means is that black takes, white takes. Black takes, white takes, black takes. Oh no, we weren't safe pushing the pawn. No good. So he can't do that now. But he plays c3, and now it would be 1, 2, 3 against 1, 2, 3, which would mean that it would be safe. So if black played like a, a6 here, push, 1 attack, 1 defense, 2 attack, 2 defense. 3 attack, 3 defense. It winds up being a trade, but if you look now, Greco has all this stuff in the middle. And a knight and a bishop who are ready to come out and help in the middle too. And black doesn't have anything. So this would be a really nice position. So let's go in. So he plays c3 with the idea of setting up this pawn push to get a really big center. Black plays knight f6. He takes the big center. Black takes, white takes. The bishop goes back, and now you can kind of see that this is probably going well for Greco. His opponent has no central pawn, and he has all of these pieces who are fighting in the center. And this means that he's going to be able to use these center pawns to chase black pieces around. So he plays e5 in the tent. Black doesn't want to let him trade because the pawn's worth one, the knight's worth three. That's a bad trade for black. So black goes down. Now he plays d5 and attacks the other knight. Now notice, if the knight takes this pawn, Greco would take back. He'd get a three-point knight for a one-point pawn. Black doesn't want to do that. Knight back, push. Knight back. And uh, Greco now plays queen d5. And there's a checkmate break. Which is that if he got another free turn, let's say black plays a6 again, he can play queen takes f7 and is checked from the queen. Queen attacks all these state squares, and the bishop guards the queen. So there's just no good way out for the black king here. So, okay, black has to do something to stop the checkmate, but there aren't great options here. And uh, black plays knight h6. With the idea that if queen takes, knight takes the queen, that'd be great for black. And there's a big problem with knight. And you can try and figure out what you would do here as white. So the move that Greco makes is he plays bishop takes knight. Now, in some sense, this is a three-point bishop for a three-point knight 
However, afterwards, now that the knight is gone, Greco has queen takes f7 checkmate, and that's the end. And so this is a nice little simple game that shows you the power of what you can do with the center and central. All right. Thanks.